this started by just pulling this cover off. They make this to get access to the oil filter, but it's easiest just to take this off since it just pops right off. Just snaps right off. These four snaps go into these four things, so I just pull that right off. After you get the engine cover off, the first thing you want to do is uh, just loosen this filter up and lift it up a little bit. I'll do it and show you what I'm talking about here. Get the uh, oil filter cap pulled out of there. You got a, uh, I'm using a 15 16 socket, but you could use a 24 millimeter too. Pull the top of this filter housing off here. Let's down in here and pull this out. There, let it drain for a little bit. Get everything out of there. This is your filter that goes down inside of this filter housing. See this right here? This piece is designed to plug off this, this housing so the oil doesn't drain out of it every time you uh, shut off your engine. What you do is, first thing, after you take the cover off the engine, pull this. This is a 24 millimeter or a 15 16 will work too. Take this off, lift this up a little bit so you pull so you pull this o-ring and this little plug out of the hole, out of the drain hole in the bottom of this housing and just let it drain. Don't pull it, don't pull the filter out. You just let it drain down into the bottom and then go down and and pull the plug on the pan and just let all that drain together. Just keep letting this drain and Pull this filter out and put the new one in. Last thing, so that uh, you have less oil to deal with when you pull this filter out. I just broke this uh, drain plug loose for the engine oil. This thing was not tight at all. It wasn't hand tight, but it wasn't very tight. So let's get this drained. Let's see if we can hit our pan. Ooh, that looks kind of dirty, doesn't it? I still have 25% life left on this, but this is the first oil chain, so I want to get this out of here. Got like 6,700 miles on it. That maybe I went a little bit too long for the first oil change, but get this done. Well, I got this oil draining out of here down to a drip. Go ahead and pull this thing out of there. There's the old filter right there. Let it drain long enough. There's really no oil left. I use pleated paper and the OEM. Just grab this, it snaps out, the new filter will come with a new o-ring, just pick this off, get it off there, put the new o-ring on, and go ahead, get the new filter out of the bag, these Amsoil filters are like cotton fiber I think, so I think they're a little better filter, I've seen these paper ones split before and snap that back in make sure it's secured oil up your o-ring here a little bit this drain o-ring this one has plenty of lubrication on it just put this back in here back in the filter housing put the cap back on with the filter on it start the threads make sure it doesn't cross thread And right in here, on, right on the filter itself, it says tighten it to 25.5 newton meters. Get it snugged up first. Okay, snugged up. All right, we got our 15 sixteenths here, and our little inch-pound torque wrench set at. 25.5 newton meters. Usually an inch pound torque wrench is uh, 3 8 drive, so you got to get an adapter from 3 8 to half inch. Because this thing's so dang big, this 15 16. So I'm going to tighten this up to 25 newton meters. Let this thing drain, and that's all the oil I got out of there. This is an OEM filter. You little shiny stuff in there. I like to look between the pleats and see what's there. 
can see that stuff in there little teeny bits of metal looks like metal it's kind of shiny see that also every pleat has that that's stuff in there from all the machining process I tell you this uh, OEM pleated filter seems a lot stronger I put an apple gold in there in my other engine and oh there tore a pleat right there but these pleats aren't they're not that hard to tear so that's why I like using the uh, cotton fiber I can hardly tear those I think they filter a little finer too but some little junk in there from this thing there see that chunk right there you can see that see that little piece of metal or something in there I need a magnet and see if that's magnetic but this is that o-ring for the drain hole right there this goes in first plugs up the hole let's get this drain plug back in here Torque it to 25 just the click 25 nice and tight on this thing with oil it takes 520 well, six quarts. I use this Amzola full synthetic. I've been using Amzola for probably better than 30 years. And uh, it's good oil, kind of spending, it's good oil. Like I said, I have 25% left on the life of the engine oil life monitor. For the first oil change, probably went a little bit too long. That oil looks really dirty. And these uh, Pentastar engines, they have like four chains in them, like two timing chains, one for each set of cams, and then one little timing chain to kind of drive those two cams and then there's a or there's a chain that drives the oil pump too so that variable variable valve timing that has a bunch of little passages and stuff you should keep your oil nice and clean make your engine last use a good grade of synthetic oil i think that's what these call for with that extended drain interval that the uh, oil life monitor uses this thing just says engine oil I guess that means you're supposed to look in the owner's manual. Whoever does that did more than I do, I guess. Okay, we're about done here. We can start this thing up. Back in here. Tighten it down. We'll start this thing up and check for leaks. No leaks. Oil pressure right away. Just got to reset the or engine oil life monitor. I'm trying to remember how to do that. You got to press it, press the gas three times and bit to the east or some dang thing get this uh engine oil life monitor reset just turn the don't turn the engine on turn the music off but don't start the engine and you gotta put it to vehicle info and then flip through that till you get to engine oil life and press ok and then i believe you yeah you pump the gas three times while you're pressing okay then it resets it there we go we're at 100 percent get this engine cover back on here Just gotta get these four of these things lined up with these little studs and then I think that's it. it's on there all done till next time